Hello everyone, it is Lore Plays. With the release of my new RimWorld playthrough and its 360 associated mods, I've been getting a lot of questions on how to correctly install these mods and get them in the correct load order. So, I've decided to make a quick explanation video for you. The first thing you want to do is find the Steam collection of the mod pack that you want. We are going to use the new Disciples of Symmetra collection for this video. Simply subscribe to each of the mods that are underneath the description one by one or by clicking the subscribe to all button here at the top. Because there are a lot of mods in this collection, you might have to wait a few minutes for Steam to download them all onto your machine. If the mods aren't installing automatically, try restarting Steam in administrator mode. That's usually what I have to do. Now we are going to add the mods to our game. There are a few ways that we can do this. First is manually. Whether you are using the vanilla mod UI for RimWorld or Fluffy's Mod Manager, you would simply activate the mods that you want to use and then drag them in the correct load order. The mod load order has been painstakingly organized within the Steam collection itself, so make sure you follow this list while you are activating the mods. You can also import the mod list automatically, which is obviously much easier. <laughs> there are two ways to import the list, either through Fluffy's Mod Manager mod here, or through an external application called Rimpy. I'm going to talk about the Mod Manager first. If you are using the Disciples of Symmetra mod pack, you should already have this installed as it is part of the pack. Simply find it in the list, activate it, and then restart RimWorld. Your UI should then look like this. Next, what we're going to do is find the link to the load order within the description of this collection. It is right under For Mod Manager here. Click that. It's going to take you to a Google Drive document, so you will need to click Continue to External Site, and this text document will appear. Simply highlight the entire list, copy it. I'm clicking Control C. You can also open it with Google Docs and copy it from there. Go back to the Mod Manager and click the little paper icon on the bottom right here. You will want to click Import Mod List from String, which means it's going to look at your clipboard for the mod list that we just copied. You will see Mod List Disciples of Symmetra has been imported from the clipboard. You should then see it here along with any other mod list that you might have. Click it, click Load Mod List, and everything should be activated in the correct load order. And that's it. Simply close this UI and restart your game. The other way to import the load order is to use Rimpy. Rimpy is really nice if you play with a lot of mods all the time and need a way to quickly organize them. To get Rimpy, you'll need to go to their workshop page and subscribe to the mod, but also download the program either for Windows or Linux here. Install it onto your computer, open it up, and then make sure all of these folders at the top are set to the correct path for your computer. Next, we're going to go back to the Steam collection and find the Rimpy XML file that is underneath the optional installation section. You're going to want to click it, go to external site again, but this time what we want to do is actually download the file. You can save this file anywhere on your computer, then go back to Rimpy and click import list. Find the list that we just downloaded, click open, and then import list again, and then hopefully all of the inactive mods that we had over here are now activated in the correct order. When this looks good, you will then need to activate the Rimpy Mod Manager database mod itself because that is not actually included in this collection. So simply drag it over, it doesn't matter where, and then click save. You only need to load the game once with this mod for it to work, so you can remove it later on if you want to. You can also click Run down here to open up RimWorld if you want, but you don't need to. You just need to remember to click the Save button here whenever you change something in this list. And that's it! The mods should then be loaded in the correct order when you open up the game. If you are interested in watching me play the Disciples of Symmetra mod pack, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified on every new episode. Thank you guys, and I hope that helped. I will talk to you guys later.